So here we are uh, deep inside Madai Wildlife Sanctuary in Goa. And here is our Gurkha. So this post is uh, about uh, the performance of uh, the new Wrangler Silent Track 80 tires that we have uh, installed on the Gurkha now. Uh, this change comes after almost two years of uh, running on the Yokohama Geolanders. Uh, uh, ge while the Geolanders were good, um, I mean, great performance, but I, I honestly felt that uh, the wear out was a lot more faster uh, compared to, you know, the amount of usage. I mean, uh, the wear out was almost down to the marker, which is there on the tires at uh, 30, 33, 34,000 kilometers, which is um, kind of uh, poor, I would say. Now with the uh, Wranglers, <laughs> Uh, let's see uh, how it goes. The tread depth is uh, is is quite deep, and uh, yeah. So in this particular trip, we've got the uh, uh, opportunity to take the Gurkha on uh, various different terrains. You know, where we are talking about four lane highways, six lane expressways, uh, ghats, beaches, rocky terrain off-road uh, tracks muddy tracks everything uh, name it and uh, we have uh, kind of driven her uh, through all these types of terrain and uh, so this gives us uh, uh, gives me a great deal of understanding on uh, on the performance aspect of uh, this uh, goodyear tire uh, on the at the onset, I can say that I definitely feel that the steering effort has gone up a bit. Uh, it could be due to the fact that the tread depth is uh, quite deep. You see, it's kind of kind of deep. And while they are very grippy, uh, very quiet, but the steering effort has gone up a bit now. While on the uh, straight highways, one does not really feel any difference but uh, on ghat sections uh, it was evident because of the uh, you know additional effort uh, but it's just a slight one maybe it will wear out with time i wouldn't really notice it if i didn't have something to kind of uh, compare it with uh, other than that i think the performance of the tires has been uh, absolutely wonderful uh on on the sand as well you know I'll, I'll post in a few videos after after this to give you all an idea the kind of terrain that we drove in on sandy beaches it held its line pretty well it was not wallowing or you know skidding uh like most other tires so that was a very uh, very good uh, sign you know it held its line absolutely straight and I was able to drive uh, on the beach wherever possible. Of course, uh, not many beaches allow that today. Uh, on the rocks, uh, the tread depth and the additional rubber obviously, you know, uh, leads to an enhanced uh, grip. So that was a great experience. Same with uh, muddy tracks uh, and, and so on. So over and all i think uh, i'm quite happy uh, with the performance of this uh, tire and uh, it is uh, a delight on the highways because uh, it no longer makes uh, the humming uh, sound you know which was uh, pretty evident on the yokohama so this uh, this was a big difference and i'm really enjoying the quiet uh, nature of uh, of the drive now and uh, what what else uh, so we've also installed uh, these bluetooth tpms uh, valves uh, so these are external valves and uh, the display is here on the dashboard works uh, pretty well i don't know if you can see it Works pretty well, uh, you know, showing uh, 
the reading in case if the tire pressure goes low there is a quite loud uh, uh, an audio warning yeah ain't she a looker so we are currently exploring uh, unseen goa uh, exploring some uh, un uh, unheard of uh, reserves uh, around uh, the goa and karnatak border uh, we'll share uh, updates and videos about that uh, a little and short glimpse about the place that we are at right now so we are at the border or almost inside uh, the Madai Wildlife Sanctuary. This is uh, not very well known by people. Uh, a hidden away gem of a place, uh, great hospitality. Uh, and wow, look at the sky. Uh, I mean, you can be in sync with nature and just forget about time over here. A uh, lot of birds lot of birds uh, hornbills are a, a clear specialty over here you can spot uh, the great indian hornbill the malabar pied hornbill the malabar gray hornbill so three types of hornbills right here at the camp we are, uh, and to share the name of the place it's uh, made jungle camp it's a lovely forest property and uh, quite a few things to explore around here some hidden waterfalls and treks in plenty what you see behind is the madai sanctuary this is the forest boundary here you have uh, the bisons you know which cross over for a drink ahead uh, this is an electric fence they have put in to prevent you know any ingress because uh, bisons can can cause uh, a lot of harm you know to fences and stuff it's a solar fence nothing you know major but it's enough to uh, keep the animals away all right so we started with tires and we ending with uh, with the jungle but then that's how life is with uh, when you're driving a gurkha you are exploring a, a whole lot of things uh, at any given opportunity uh, maybe you can say hi to this uh, jungle babbler here, which is, yeah. All right. So, thanks all. Uh, we'll add some footage over here to give you all a glimpse of uh, where all we have been. Thanks. Thanks all for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hold, 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 hold.